I'm Tommy with Studio Sense. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about finding that rich smelling or expensive smelling fragrance at a very affordable, aka cheap, sometimes cost. So when we return, I'm going to show you seven fragrances that smell expensive but are very affordable. That and more, so stay tuned. Hey guys and welcome back. I'm glad that you could take some time out of your busy schedule to check out my video today. For those of you that are wanting to save money yet still get a really good quality product, all of these fragrances are gonna be mostly under 40 bucks, in some cases a little bit less, with maybe the exception of one of them, and I'll talk about that one just in just a moment. But our first fragrance that we're gonna take a look at out of our seven is a John Barbados with Nick Jonas. And there are several of those fragrances out, but the one that I'm referring to that I think is really good was created by Carlos Vinales, and it is... Some Barbados fragrances have a little bit of bling. This one actually has it on it, but I love the color of the bottle. It's a deep, rich red or crimson. I haven't smelled anything quite like this fragrance DNA, and it smells like you're gonna pay a lot more than just $34 for it. It just smells like a very expensive fragrance. In the top, you've got cedar leaf, bergamot, green apple, you've got Cuban rum, you've also got coffee CO2. The heart has suede, lavender, amber, and saffron. Resting on a base of vetiver, labdanum, musk, and patchouli. The thing about this fragrance, it's a little bit complex. So when you first smell it, you think, oh, okay, it's kind of a somewhat generic men's fragrance. And then as time goes on and as it dries down, those notes begin to open up. When I smell this fragrance, I think of a guy who's principled, who expects nothing but the best because that's what he gives, who has really good, solid taste, knows what he wants, knows how to get it. So it is kind of a mature scent, but it also has a youthful vibe or a youthful edge too. Crimson can be purchased online or you can sometimes find it at rack stores. That's actually where I found mine. If you want a masculine intoxicating fragrance, Crimson is going to be a great way to go. This next fragrance came out in 2013. It really speaks for itself. It's kind of galvanizing. Your people either love it or they hate it. Natalie Lorson is the perfumer. Bentley for Men Intense. This fragrance is a boozy wonder. This scent has rapidly created two categories of people, those who love it and those who don't like it. It's a very clear, strong fragrance that sends a very clear, strong message. Because it is made from Bentley, it can remind you of a very rich interior of a vehicle, its aristocracy, its opulence. It's all about smelling expensive, smelling rich. And this is out of all of these, probably one of the best in terms of smelling inaccessible, and yet it's extremely accessible. This one is around 33 box for a 100 ml bottle. Whereas Crimson that we just talked about was an eau de toilette, this is an eau de parfum concentration. As such, it does have really good performance. You've got bergamot, black pepper, and bay leaf in the top. You've got clary sage, cinnamon, rum, woody notes, labdanum, and you've got African geranium in the heart. Leather, benzoin, cedar, patchouli, sandalwood, and frankincense is the base that it's resting on. You've got a lot of heavy hitters in this fragrance. There's a pungency in here that will punch through clothing. If you like leathery, boozy fragrances, you can blind buy this safely. But if you don't like those, you might want to try a sample. Either way, one of the best expensive smelling fragrances at a fraction of the cost that you would think that you would pay for this. Bentley for Men Intense. This next fragrance I'm featuring, it's funny, the other day I was talking with Ash of Gentsense. He used to wear it when he had a job at the mall in an arcade, and uh, I used to wear it growing up as well. It's one of those fragrances that if you wore it when it first came out, you've got some really good memories associated with it. Lucky number six is an oriental fougere for men. This is a 75 ml bottle, which I got for like seven or eight bucks, but you can actually get a 100 ml bottle for around 13 or 14 dollars, sometimes cheaper when you get it on discount. It is extremely cheap juice, but it performs, actually performs pretty well for the price that you pay, but it actually, it obviously smells so much more expensive than what it is. It's an oriental rich green fragrance. Typically oriental fragrances, like a richer or warm and spicy benzoin, this isn't necessarily warm and spicy. It's like a drier, richer, darker vetiver. 
Clement Gavry, Jean-Marc Chalain, and Lock Dong was the, the trio of perfumers that worked on this. It's got aquatic notes in it. It's got, I mean, there's literally a little bit of everything in here, even though it's considered an oriental fragrance. It's got aquatics, it's got green notes. That's primarily what you get out of this. Neroli, pineapple, suede, plum, geranium, ginger, lily, nutmeg, cashmere, tonka bean, amber, sandalwood, cedarwood, and musk. It's got a very youthful and vibrant spirit, but it definitely smells like you paid a lot more than seven or eight bucks for a 75 ml bottle. If you like to smell expensive but green on a budget, this fragrance is for you. Speaking of green, our next fragrance is actually from the Icon collection of Banana Republic. It's one of my favorite out of the Icon collection. And this one also is unisex. It's number 78, Vintage Green. One thing I love about Vintage Green is, number one, you can typically get this for right around 21 bucks at a rack store. TJ Maxx had them for $21.95 for a long time. You might still be able to find them there. They're usually around 33 bucks online at discounters. This is an eau de parfum concentration. Once you spray this on, you smell this fragrance. It does not hide, it is not shy. As a unisex fragrance, I feel like it leans a little bit more masculine. This came out in 2017. Gino Percantino is the nose behind the fragrance. You've got bergamot, green leaves, magnolia, mandarin orange. You've got uh, green tea, jasmine, fig, cedarwood, musk, and vetiver. They nailed it, absolutely nailed vintage green. If you like a fragrance that's gonna get you noticed, that's gonna get you attention, if you like green fragrances, if you like bright citrix, if you're looking for a good tea fragrance, this has got a really nice green tea note in there, then you'll love Banana Republic's number 78 vintage green. This next fragrance that smells expensive but is cheap may be the exception to these, but I had to include it. It's also one that has been discontinued, unfortunately. Commodity Bergamot. Right now, Commodity is recouping and rebranding, and while they're doing that, you can get their older products on a discount. This one I actually got for 15 bucks, which is ridiculous. This came out in 2017. Steven Nielsen is the nose behind the fragrance. Of course, you've got Bergamot in the top. You've got Green Mandarin Orange and Clementine as well. You've got Jasmine Absolute, Moroccan Mint, and Egyptian Geranium in the heart. Patchouli, Vetiver, Musk, and that Violet Leaf. So if you're in the mood for a scent that smells very expensive but is relatively cheap in terms of rack stores, extremely cheap, bergamot from commodity is the way to go especially if you want something a little bit more subtle this is another unique bergamot scent as bergamot scents go this one isn't loud and aggressive and youthful this one is quiet subtle and intelligent if you see this at a discounter at any discounter do yourself a favor grab it up you're grabbing a very expensive fragrance at a fraction of the cost commodities bergamot next up is one of my favorite designer fragrances to pull off the shelf and it is from Jesus Del Pozo. When you smell this fragrance, it's got so many components to it. It's got a roasted coffee note that is really unique. It's like a coffee that's done. It's not fresh ground. It's like fresh roasted. So this is like coffee after the fact. Nicholas Ballyou is the nose behind the fragrance. It came out in 2019. Cardamom, lavender, lemon in the top. Whiskey, roasted coffee. You've got leather, you've got cinnamon, some mineralic or concrete notes. You've got tonka bean, amber, and frankincense in the heart. So it is a winter fragrance. It's a cool weather fragrance. It's like a super cool scent. And and if you don't own this, I highly recommend trying it out. At the cost that it is, less than 40 bucks, it smells so much richer than what it costs. Jesus Del Pozo's Halloween Man X. The last fragrance on my rich smelling but cheap costing list is an oldie but a goodie. It's from the house of Jaguar. Just like Halloween Man X, it is an eau de toilette concentration. Dominique Preces is the nose behind it. It's got bergamot, grapefruit, black pepper, pink pepper, and cypress in the top. Cinnamon, cardamom, lily of the valley, jasmine, and rose in the heart. Musk, benzoin, vetiver, patchouli. You've got vanilla, you've got um, sandalwood, and cedar as well. This actually reminds me of being in a convertible car 
driving early on a Sunday morning through a national forest. You get that fresh spritz of morning air that's really eye-opening, but you also have a really nice mix of woods in there as well. So it's a very woody fragrance too on the dry down. But you also have kind of a lightly balsamic powdery essence. This fragrance has a richness, a maturity, a scent profile that smells so much more expensive than what it is. You can get a 100 ml bottle for less than 15 bucks. This one is a safe blind buy. Don't even question it. Just grab it up. It's 15 bucks. It smells like you paid so much more for it. Jaguar for men Privé. Well guys, that's it for my seven expensive smelling but very affordable fragrances for men. I hope you've enjoyed this list. If you have any experience with these fragrances, let me know what you think. And if you think some belong in this list that I missed, let me know those as well in the comments below. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow.